Our next guest on North of the Broad is Jonathan Hout. As you know, he's executive director of this wonderful Pat Conroy Literary Center, and we're talking writers' workshops in June. You've got a lot going on, and they sound very exciting. Oh, thank with you. With some great authors. Yeah, we're yes. excited to do this. This is a big part of the Conroy Center vision, not just to have the museum, which is right. awesome, of course, right. but also right. to have this educational component. Yes. And the writers' workshops are a good way to do that. And are they both, there are two that we're going to talk about, yep. one on June 1st and then mm -hmm. one at the end of June on June 27th. Are mm -hmm. they both online and in person, or are they all online? The first one that we're talking about, which is the, the two cents elevator pitch, uh, is entirely online. Okay. So that instructor is Ann Garvin, who's a USA Today best-selling novelist. She's got a book coming out soon called There's No Coming Back from This. Yeah. And I've seen her at writers' conferences a, a bunch of times. She's really incredible. Mm -hmm. She understands not just the craft, but the business. And part of the business is being able to describe your book very concisely, right. very quickly. It, it, elevator speech, boom, yes. boom, mm -hmm. yes. And you and I both do nonprofit work, so think of right. it as like the mission statement. Every, yes. Everything has to kind of circle back to the mission statement. And if it doesn't, then why are you doing the thing? Right. So the, the two sentence elevator pitch is kind of the same idea. Even if you're not at a point where you need to market your book, just sort of understanding and committing to what your writing project right. even is, yes. is Very tremendously good. helpful. Okay, now that's six to eight. It's on yes. June 1st and it's $45. Yes, so and it's on up. Zoom. People can join from absolutely anywhere. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. The next one is Estelle Ford Williamson. Yes, who's actually been on this show a couple times yes, for her novels. right, right, right. So she's a local writer, and that class will be right here in the room that we're okay. filming in, our, our classroom here at the Conroy Center. Right. So that is a follow-up to her writing family stories class that she taught recently that was very popular, that sold out. So, uh, But you do not have to have taken the first class okay. to be able to jump in and take the second class. I think there are a lot of people who are at points in their lives where they realize if they don't get their family stories down, then their kids and their grandkids aren't going to know that history. So it's not necessarily geared toward people who want to write a book, although that's part of it. But it's about your personal family it story? Is, yes. It's about de delving deeply into your, your story as it relates to your family story or the stories of relatives who maybe can't tell their own stories. And how to structure all of that. Yes, how to put it sure. together without mm -hmm. getting into too much... You know, detail, I would right. assume, because yeah. you could be on one family member and go on and on and on. You could go way down a rabbit hole. And we right. all sort of have those stories that circulate <laughs> right. in our families, yes. but we've never pulled them together in a, in a cohesive narrative. Most of us don't take that step. So this is a good way for people to give structure and maybe lead to publication for a set of stories about their family that they know or want to know. Would she go into like how to research your family? That's part of it too, okay. sort of how to do research and oral history interviews yes. with like yes. grandma and okay, grandpa like who that. maybe can't write their own story, right. I like that. but know all this information that's going right. to they leave. They just want to, you just turn on a recorder and I'll yeah. just talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So okay, that's, Estelle okay. is really good at that, too. Uh, she sort of gets that because a lot of her own she writing bring... is, is centered around her family or other families. Okay, now that's yeah. here at the center, and it it's on is. June 27th. That is a Tuesday. There is an online option for that, yep. too. It's, okay. Most of what happens will be in this room, but we have we have a mechanism to let people join for Zoom if they need to. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That's 5 to 7, mm -hmm. and then, yeah. again, that's 45. Right. Um, mm -hmm. you, go in, you can go on the website. And mm -hmm. then we have an open mic, and that's back up on June the 8th. That's right. So I don't help me understand the open mic because sure. I think of you know somebody going up and doing a comedy routine or something, and I know mm -hmm. it's not that. <laughs> For us, it, because it's a literary open mic, yes. it's, it's all centered around the idea of it being prose or poetry. So people come up and read for three yeah. or five, three to five minutes. Um, a se several poems or one poem oh, okay. or an excerpt from a short story or flash fiction, which is very short fiction. Right. And these are people from our community. We do this on the second Thursday of each month in partnership with our statewide writers organization. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one that's coming up in June is an in-person event. It's in person every other month and then okay. in between we do it on Zoom. So there's a writer coming from Savannah named Helen P. Bradley, mm -hmm. and she's our featured writer. So at okay. the end of Open Mic, for the last 15 or 20 minutes, we always have a featured writer who's a little further along in her <laughs> his career than maybe anybody else who's reading. Right. Uh, and this particular time, it's, it's novelist uh, Helen Bradley with her novel, Breach of Trust. Okay, so that well, that again is on June the 8th, and that's yes. 6 to 7.30. Right, and that's at the Beaufort County Black Chamber of Commerce, right. which is just up Bladen Street from where we are here at the Conroy Center. It's two blocks away. They've got a great event space on the lower level that we use for open mic. Very good, and just very quickly, Thursday, June 22nd is the, at the Pat Conroy Book Club. Yes. Great Santini. 
That's right. So Pat wrote 12 <laughs> books, uh, which is great for book club model because you can cover one a month. So right. we're doing that again in partnership uh, with the Red House Inn right. on, what is that, fourth Thursday of each yeah. month. Uh, these things sell out very quickly. So if people so are interested, you I need encourage to sign them up. to sign up months in advance. Right. Not, not weeks, but months in advance. Well, thank you, Jonathan. Good to see you again in this beautiful month of May. And uh, thank you all for joining us for this edition of North of the Broad, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.